What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix a relatively common issue that you could be having with any Microsoft application, be it 2017, 2019, Office 365, Outlook, Word, Excel, etc, etc. Basically, the error in question today is this one over here. Simply firing up something like Outlook will raise this message here. Error code 0x426 hyphen 0x0 and you can click here to get more info online. What exactly can we do to try and fix this error? Well, more than likely, it's simply that the office service isn't running on your computer. This is very commonly caused by cleanup software, antiviruses, etc, etc. So when you see the screen here, simply click close to close the application and then hold control, shift and press escape to bring up the task manager. You can, of course, also right click the taskbar and then click task manager or use control alt escape and task manager there. Once you have task manager open, head across to the services tab and click open services at the very bottom. When you see this new window over here, all that we have to do is sort by name and then click on any item on the list, then hit M on our keyboard to jump down to M. What we're looking for here is Microsoft Office click to run service. As you can see, startup time for me is currently disabled. That means that this bit of software over here is enabled to check my key against Microsoft servers to verify that I've actually bought the app. All that you have to do if you see disabled under startup type or nothing under status in this column is simply right click this and then click properties. When we get to this window here, make sure that the startup type is set to automatic or automatic delayed start. Then click apply and once the start button is enabled here, simply click it to start the service. Now that the Office License Verification Server is running, we can click OK, close out of the Services window and try to fire up whatever program again. In my case, I was trying to open Microsoft Outlook. And immediately, as you can see, the logo is now showing and the window completely opens up, unlike before where I simply got the error code. It's opened on a different screen, so instead I'll open Say Word. Same thing happens here, the program opens up and it works just fine. However, if this video didn't work for you, what else can we try? Well, simply hit start and then type in control. Open up control panel and inside of here, head across to programs and features, unless you see this on your screen here. In this case, click uninstall a program. It'll take us to the same list of programs here. All that we have to do is click anywhere on the list and press M on our keyboard once again. Then we'll look for Microsoft 365, Microsoft Office 2017, 2019, etc, etc, and simply right click on it and click change. When you see this on your screen over here, simply click quick repair and then click repair at the very bottom. If you're still unable to open programs after you run this quick repair, do the same steps to get back to this window and then click online repair followed by repair. Note that the second option over here will require a little more time and requires an internet connection. After it runs through to completion, you should be able to launch up the program once again. If you're still having an issue at this point after following through with all of the steps so far, try and restart your computer and see if the program works properly. If it still doesn't work, at this point your best option will be to fully reinstall the Microsoft Office suite. So hit start, type in uninstall or control panel, and then once again uninstall a program or programs and features. Then we'll simply click anywhere, type in M again, of course, sorted by name that is, and we'll look for Office 365. This time you'll right click and click uninstall and follow through with all the steps, then proceed to re-download and reinstall Office 365, 2019, 2017, etc, etc from scratch. Though do note that before you uninstall it, make sure that all of your important files are backed up if they're not stored in your documents folder, etc, etc. What exactly do I mean by this? Well, I simply mean something like your Outlook PST, where all of your saved emails, etc, are saved. When you uninstall, there's a possibility that these files may be deleted, even though I don't think that they will. It's still a very good idea to make backups of important files, such as the Microsoft Office Outlook PST file. Regardless, once you go through a full reinstall, things should be working properly. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!